It's a busy afternoon on Desert Doppler, which is such a good sight to see. I want to give you a quick radar tour here. We'll start on the east side. This was a warm storm, a severe thunderstorm warning over the Lake Las Vegas area, including portions of Lake Mead. This was due to gust speeds up to about 60 miles per hour and pea sized hail. But I also want to point out the prolific lightning. We have seen so many strikes and the really, really, really heavy rain. Anytime you get the purples and pinks picking up here on radar, that means that is rainfall is intense. So don't be surprised if you see some ponding on the roadway, uh, which and maybe some uh, some light to moderate flooding in the area just due to that rainfall intensity. Now a little further south here, I'm keeping a close eye on this storm that's going to shift further north and east toward Boulder City. It hasn't started to weaken yet, so that is still packing quite a punch with a pocket of very, very heavy rain and quite a bit of lightning with that. A little further west, I've been keeping a close eye on Inspirata. This shower seemed to kind of park itself right over Inspirata, but it is starting to weaken in terms of rainfall intensity right near the south point in the M. It looks like there's a pocket of pretty heavy rain. It's fairly light right now for where Seven Hills and Anthem. You're kind of in the window between a couple of those storms that are a little bit stronger, uh, but it's nice to see activity on Desert Doppler and keep in mind it's not just the rain. It's not just the uh, the lightning that we're seeing. It's that gusty outflow wind. Our gusts right now right around the 25 mile per hour range for the areas impacted by storms where in the, the northwest part of the valley the wind is much calmer, but that outflow wind is going to spread across the rest of the valley and now check out the temperature. It's so interesting. You wouldn't even need to see the radar to know the areas that have picked up rain, right? 93 in Boulder City, 99 in Henderson and Anthem, where on the northwest side of the valley, 105 in Centennial Hills, 110 right now in downtown Las Vegas. So that rain cooled air feeling really good for areas east of the 15. So looking across Clark County, you see it is still fairly hit or miss. It's just lucky us that all the rain that seems to be developing is right over the valley, but we are far from over as we put future cast into play. We keep these spotty storm chances right around 30% through dinner time tonight. We don't clear out until after midnight, so there is a possibility at really any time tonight this evening through uh, even midnight that you'll get caught in one of those stray showers or storms. So please be aware of the pockets of heavy rain, the gusty wind, the frequent lightning. You'll want to head indoors if you are caught in those storms and the humidity sticks around through the rest of the week into the start of next week, so that keeps the isolated storm chance in play. Unfortunately, it's not doing a whole lot for our temperature, so we're going to hang on to that intense heat. In fact, as we reduce that humidity just to touch Sunday, our highs jump back to 110 and then settle in closer to the seasonal average next week. We keep that chance for spotty showers and storms in play for the rest of the night tonight, uh, so watch out for the slick spots on the road. It is just so encouraging to see any sort of storm chance in the forecast. It's back to 20% tomorrow, and then we drop the storm chances to 10% for the weekend.